I heard the word of the Lord that God said, I'm causing an increase to come upon you. And God said, quickly, I will bring people from the east, the west, the south, and the north. God said, son, I'm causing you to be an administration, administrator. You're going to begin to administer. You're going to begin to plan because you're a good planner. And God said, things are going to come. God said, son, quickly, I'm going to give you a building. Quickly, I'm going to give you a building. I said, matter of fact, let me, let, let, let me tell them something. I see a church folding up, getting out, and they are going to call you and say, are you interested in this building? And God is going to begin to do a work. As a matter of fact, I don't know your background, but I'm seeing you. Uh, this is a vision I'm seeing, an open vision. I, use, I see a vision. You're standing in a Baptist church ministry. I don't know if you've ever preached in a Baptist church or something. But I see you ministering in a Baptist church, and the, the people are going crazy and doing that thing. But God says, I'm about to change things. And God says, I'm about to bring a shaking. And God is going to bring a lot of Baptist people who are hungry for the film. Yes, and you're going to really teach them. For the spirit of Baptist have come against you. I, I don't understand this. I, I see people, I see like, have, have, like Baptist people having deacons and elders coming against you. Getting upset with you and speaking against you. But God said the Baptist did not call you and the Baptist can make your destiny. God said, son, I'm not going to raise you up. I'm not going to cause life to flow through you. I'm not going to bless you. And God said, there's nothing wrong with the Baptist. But if the people did not understand the vision and the revelation that I gave you. And God said, so I'm raising up. And I heard the word of the Lord, a call out one. God said, I'm calling you out. Yeah. And God said, I, I'm going to begin to shift things and I'm going to begin to bless you and I'm going to begin to honor you. Thank God. God said, I'm going to begin to rock your world and blow your mind. Yeah. And God said, I will cause increase to come. Yeah. And God said, I will cause this church, I will cause this church to begin to grow. Yeah. It's going to grow quickly. It's going to grow yeah. quickly. God said, it's going to amaze you the way I'm going to do. Because I'm bringing people that are hungry, I'm bringing people from the east, the west, the south, and north. And God said, quickly, you are going to begin to meet in a building, in a church building. And God said, son, I'm going to begin to bring the money. So here the word of the Lord increase is upon you. I'm going to begin to astonish you because God said, I'm giving you life. And God said, I will even cause men to come that you will teach them and raise them up. And God said, as you begin to do that, even I will give you a radio program. Radio program. And God said, I will begin to anoint your voice. And you will speak. And people are going to hear your word. They are going to hear you on the airwaves. And they are going to bring you. God said, son, get ready. For I am going to bring the people. I am going to bring the people. I will draw them by my power. And God said, I will cause an increase to come. For God said, even as you begin to become faithful, as you begin to become faithful, as you begin to become faithful, I will bless the church. I will bless the ministry. I will place an anointing upon you that will draw the people. So stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Increase is upon you. Because the people are coming. The people are coming and they are going to receive help. I will give you I will give you the ability to help them. I will give you the ability to minister to them. And God said, I will cause increase to come. I will cause increase to come. God said, the flock is going to begin to just stampede here. People are going to come quickly. And when they come, they're going to find their place. Because I will pour the oil. I will pour the anointing. I will pour the increase upon you. God said, son, no, the increase of God is upon you. I want to astonish you. God said, you've gone through the pain. You've come to a place of you've come to a place of dissolution, yeah. disappointment, and where uh, the church have talked bad about you and other things. But God says, "Son, I'm here to vindicate you. I'm here to vindicate you. I'll pour life into you. I will bless you. I'll do awesome and great things in your life." Thank you, Jesus. God says, "It's a new season. It's a new day for you." And God says, "Son, see what I will do." in your life i will bless the way and the church will grow and grow and grow and god's a quick way i will do it 
that good work I will do. God says, son, this time the deacons and the board are not going to run you. The deacons and the board are not going to run the church. You are the man of God I have come. And God says, I'll bless you. I, I, I don't understand this man of God. I see a lot of Baptist people. And you just call me, but I don't know the fact, I don't understand it. But I see a lot of Baptist people hungry, and they are going to come to you. They are looking for answers. And God is going to help you. Let's give a praise to the Lord. Yes. God bless you, man of God. Thank Receive your pastor. Oh, what is all this about Baptist people? What is that? My, uh, at one time, I was from the state of Alabama. I was the, uh, uh, the uh, director of stewardship for the entire state of Alabama. My grandmother, my mother reminded me the other day, who <laughs> lived to be 98 years of uh, age, had prophesied that I'll become the pastor, the president of the National Baptist Convention. And when God brought me to Florida, he told me not to hook up with the old system. And my wife and I have a confession display on our refrigerator that my ministry was organized about four months ago, Kenneth and Young Ministries, to go and help Baptist pastors come out of the tradition to walk in the vision of God's created. Let's give God praise, amen. Let's put our hands together for the man of God. 